Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial, but today I wanted to do a completely monochromatic uh, nectar look. Um, I was actually inspired by this awesome care package that I got from ColourPop Cosmetics uh, featuring their phase one of their monochromatic spring series. At first, when I thought about monochromatic makeup, I thought it was like a big makeup don't but if you guys know me you know that i don't like to follow rules in makeup because i feel like makeup is an art form and if you have rules then you're confined as to how much you can do um of course there are some guidelines that you can follow that can make your makeup look better so it's um more flattering to your face but also at the same time when it comes to like makeup i love fashion shows for the simple fact alone that the makeup artists go above and beyond outside of the normal outside of the ordinary and it really is like art you know what i mean so monochromatic makeup was a huge trend in the early 2000s um i know that in high school and i shared the story with you guys before but in high school i actually used to get a lot of compliments on my eyeshadow in particular because that's like the one thing that i always wore was um an eyeshadow color that was really vibrant and i would always match it to my head to toe look i remember just rocking all pink and then like really just bright pink eyeshadow without being blended um because i was barely getting into makeup at that point in high school so i didn't know how to blend it's actually really cool that the monochromatic makeup trend is coming back because they always say never do like a full on look of the same color it looks tacky but i don't think it's tacky i think it actually looks really awesome i don't know i really love this the nectar is such a beautiful color for spring um and they also did release their first ever pressed powder blush and um it's in this duo that i'm wearing i'm actually wearing the blush and the color is called excuse my french and then this is a beautiful highlight that i am rocking here and on my body so i want to give you guys just a really quick brief overview of all of the stuff that is in the face one of their spring monochromatic collection if you guys are interested in like looking at pictures for like swatches or if you're interested in like a certain lip color i will have pictures um and names and more information on my blog because if i do like swatches here on youtube it's gonna take forever and it's already a makeup tutorial like a full-on makeup tutorial so i have three ultra satin lip colors there's also two lippy pencils that match the lippy sticks. So these are the combos together, um, again, in the same color family. The collection also includes three shadows in these little pots. Um, we have a pearlized finish, one by one, and then going rouge, which is a pearlized finish also. This is a beautiful highlight for all over the face and the body. And then this color, which I thought was pretty interesting, it's called flipper and it has a metallic finish and what's cool about this one is that it's a really gorgeous shade of orange which has um like a little bit of shimmer in it and i thought it was awesome and then this blush color which is pretty intense um it's called drop of a hat and it has a pearlized finish um so i swatched it it's pretty pigmented as um i've told you guys before and it also did come with one of their pressed eyeshadows which they just recently launched and they come individually in little packets like this um and the color here is called cutouts and it's a matte finish so that one, along with the four new eyeshadow colors that are in this collection in here. And yeah, so, so with that being said, let's jump right into the makeup tutorial so you guys can see how easy it is to recreate this look. So I like to begin by just applying a thin layer of an eyeshadow primer all over the eyelid and on the lower lash line. So the first color that I'm using from the eyeshadow palette is called Centerfold and this is a matte coral color that's going to be going onto the crease and also on the brow bone and on the lower lash line. This is like the first color that's going to be peeking through. So I really want my next color to really stand out and I have this new product from a brand called Suva Beauty and it's a Hydra Cream base in the color Pantyhose and it has a really nice 
matte and a little sticky of a finish and I'm basically going to use this to map out the area where I want to apply the next color and I am sort of doing a cut crease but not really because I am going to blend out the, the edges but kind of along the same lines as that. And now to deepen up the crease, I'm going to take the darkest color in the palette called Slim Fit. And with a smaller, more dense of a brush, I am going to start by applying the color right onto the crease and sort of like the, the border of the Hydra cream base that I used. So that color is going to go there and also onto the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go back with a fluffy brush to blend those two colors together. So now I'm taking the color Issues, which is a matte peach color, and this is going to be padded on, packed on to the eyelid right on top of the cream base. And as you can see, it really does stand out a lot more than just using a regular eyeshadow primer. The last color is called Take a Break, and this is the highlight and the only shimmer color of this palette. And I'm just going to apply that right beneath the eyebrow and also onto the inner tear duct. I really have been into using brown eyeliner. This one is by Marc Jacobs and it's called Earthquake. It's such a gorgeous color for any look that I've been doing lately because it keeps my eyes grounded without being too dark like black would do. So I applied it first straight out of the pencil and then I'm using a really fine detailed brush to blend the color and just to have a little bit more of a softer smoky effect to the liner than just like a really blunt line. So I'm going to apply that here and also on to the waterline and make sure that's also blended on the lash line. So now for the lashes, I am going to be using these Pure Cosmetics Pro Eyelashes in the style Socialite and I always love to trim my eyelashes so they fit me perfectly, especially these, these actually fit me great but the edges you can see um, were a little bit too long so you want to make sure you cut that off or it's going to be super uncomfortable. Um, so I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a thin layer of glue to the lash bone and just pop these little babies on making sure that I put them as close as possible to the lash line. And then I'm going to do a few coats of the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara which is absolutely amazing by itself. I love the wand in particular. Um, so I'm just going to use it on my lower lashes and then I'm also going to use it on the top ones to bind my fake ones with the real lashes. Or the real lashes with the fake ones. So now to start on the face, I am going to be using the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Primer which has become my favorite primer ever because it goes on like a moisturizer and then when it's absorbed onto the skin, it leaves it very silky and just beautiful. Like it evens out the skin surface in a really nice way. So uh, first I'm just going to apply this on the T-zone and as you can see I kind of go all over my face because it's just that amazing. And then I'm going to mix two really cool products together. The Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation mixed in with the Physicians Formula Argan Oil. Now the Kat Von D foundation is really heavy. This is extreme full coverage. It will cover up anything that you want to get covered. So I like to add a little bit of luminosity to it by using the Argan Oil which has some really gorgeous shimmer in it. So I mix both of them and then with this really cool um, brush I'm just going to blend that all over my face and also down my neck and then of course I gotta use my favorite concealer locket concealer by Kat Von D also and I'm just gonna use this underneath my eyes and that's pretty much it today and I'm gonna blend that with a beauty blender to make sure it's nice and blended by doing a patty motions Patting it just keeps the concealer where it needs to be. You don't want to be dragging or buffing or blending like crazy with concealer because if not, it kind of defeats the purpose. So I like using a beauty sponge. This is the beauty blender to just blend it out. All right, so today I'm using this cool new powder by e.l.f. Um, Eyes, lips, face. 
elf. Yeah. So this is a HD under eye setting powder and I'm going to use a really nice brush for this application. This brush is super cool by the way. It's a crown C529 and I am just going to dust that onto the T-zone and then I'm going to buff the rest of my face with this pure 4-in-1 um, foundation. Um, the color as you can see is light tan and it gives me really great coverage right on top. I mean it's not like I need more coverage but I feel like this powder just makes it look more flawless. And then if I had to recommend anything guys, it would be this Knockout Pressed Powder Blush and Highlighter Palette. Um, it's just absolutely amazing. So the blush is called Excuse My French and it's a gorgeous shade of peach, of nectar. Um, it's just such a beautiful color for spring and summer and I usually stick to pink so this is really nice to do something different. Now the highlight, it's also the bomb.com. It's called Like to watch and I'm using a fan brush to apply this right on top of my cheekbones and it's just you can see the glow guys it's absolutely amazing it has like a mixture of like gold and um, I don't know like a vanilla highlight it's really freaking awesome so I am going to highlight my body with this you guys know I'm all about the highlights so this I gotta go a little bit above the normal so now for the lips, I am going to take the lippy pencil in oversized just to line my lips first of all. And I'm going to finish it off by using the Ultra Satin Lip um, Lip Gloss in Jackard. Should I call this a lip gloss? It's like a liquid lipstick. It's a satin lip. It's pretty cool. And yeah, look at this color. It matches my eyes perfectly for the monochromatic look. And I am just going to do like one or two thin layers all over my lips. And I am absolutely done. I lied. I'm almost done. I wanted to add just a little bit more of the light to watch highlight with a small brush onto the center of my lips to really make my lips appear bigger. Now I'm completely done so thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one